Hey, we're in uh, Crossfield, Alberta today at uh, the Alberta Egg Center dealer. And we got our very first uh, 2023 model uh, horse sprayer showed up. So we're just getting it set up now. We've got the booms unfolded. Uh, this one stretches out to 133 feet or 133.33 so it's 80 nozzles on 20 inch nozzle spacing and then individual nozzles in between so a uh, 160 nozzles total um i'm just going to kind of run you through a lot of the changes we made to these uh, 23 models and uh, some of the cool new stuff on it so hop in the cab here but you can see how this is different over the 120s that you guys have seen out there already um you have the ability now to unfold to a reduced width to spray so you can fold down to either 133 or to 100 or to 60 feet. And then you have your reduced fold buttons right here. Other than that, the rest of the screen looks uh, very similar. Uh, new software upgrade is coming out though. And uh, a lot of cool stuff coming out new. So take you up to the top here. We just moved out these uh, brackets. So you have more room all the same up here so on top of the hydraulic tank we got a new uh, fill cap and uh, this hose went from uh, red to black if you look up on top of our tank here we have a uh, Porsche connect system on it now so what this is is uh, telematics very similar to how John Deere op center works but it's an external GPS receiver um, external from uh, all your GPS system but what it's going to do is uh, show you where you are in the field the application rates all that kind of stuff so each machine comes with uh, two years of that and there's a sim card in there to uh, communicate the data back and forth but the main reason you get that is so you can walk behind your sprayer and the Porsche connect will hook up to your cell phone and you can check all your nozzles from behind the sprayer So it'll look a little bit different right now because the uh, air is out of the suspension. So this is in the low position right now for our airbags. So when they come from factory, you're going to have your uh, big fat fenders for the big 900 tires. They're going to be in this apparatus underneath. So it looks kind of like this. Just like that. See our horse connect up there on the roof. So also underneath from factory, we have uh, this bracket right here. So what this bracket does, you unbolt it and it fits right into your suspension for when you're changing tires. So you can hook that up into your suspension and you'll have a safe place to uh, jack on uh, with your uh, bottle jack. Uh, big change underneath here is gonna be these big plastic covers. So we found, you know, in some taller crops, our old cover was metal and it only came up to about here and only about up to here. So this one, we have, uh, you know, a big large cover. It covers up your airbags underneath, but also in the front, you know, this plastic cover is gonna keep any barley heads or wheat heads or canola from building up here on the front of your uh, suspension. So you can see inside there, the air is out of our bags right now. So the sprayer looks uh, a little bit shorter. There's our uh, plastic covers there. Okay. So they are adjustable. So, you know, if you have to go down corn rolls or something like that, you would adjust on the brackets right here and you could bring them in more. So this will suck in even tighter. Uh, I've also changed this now. So these are, these hoses are all zip tied up and covered so nothing can uh, rub or wear inside there uh, the, our cleaning pump so what this is is the continuous rinse pump but uh it used to be mounted up on top of the uh main rack there now it's mounted uh, right here down lower so you can check the oil a bit easier let's go uh check out our new booms so 133 feet our inside sensor is right here. So that's sensor number one. This is our first fold right here. So the fold has a extra lock cylinder now 
that we didn't have before on the five fold system. So this is a seven fold sprayer now instead of a five fold. Same type of design on the boom with the truss style though. Here's the second sensor right here. So that's two on the boom. Then here's the uh, other fold, our extra fold out here. So we went from five to seven. And then outside here is gonna be our flex. So the flex moves further down the boom now. Instead of being at that inside fold, the flex is now here on the outside fold. Here's sensor number three. And then uh, here's our breakaway out here. And then sensor number four is out here. So I'm gonna take this sensor here and move it. So that sensor will be mounted right about here there's enough cable inside here wrapped up behind so anybody who wants to do this at home just take this extra cable here string it out underneath and along you undo these four bolts right there i undo these two bolts right here and then i mount that bracket up here in the front so then my sensor is further out towards the tip of the boom so this outside piece here for the 133 is all uh, redesigned, different design here. This piece here, new design. There's the, the new middle fold. So this, uh, bracket up here holds our outside two folds together and it's been uh, changed slightly here for the extra fold straight to me. There's our breakaway. Nice. So breakaway is a little bit changed from the first models. There used to be a metal bar that came in front here, but if you hit something once, that metal bar got all bent. So now it's uh, this rubber bounce plate. So when you hit something, you know, the shock's absorbed by this rubber and it'll just slide along here until you clear the obstacle. Then it'll just slide back into place, just like that. There's our outside flex on this side. Yeah, suspension looks kind of weird right now with uh, no air in it, but we'll get her aired up. But the main change, these big uh, big plastic covers underneath, those look pretty good. And uh, the big boom. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just give me a ring or drop me a message on here. So one more thing, I uh, just wanted to show how compact the booms fold up now for this 133 boom. So this is 133 feet here, but we still have perfect visibility out of the cab when we're uh, on the road transporting, you know, pulling up to intersections. And we have lots of room to sneak in between there since we just moved those brackets out of the transport position. So you can sneak in between the, uh, the cab and the side of the boom. But the main thing, if you look at the back now with this seven fold design on our 120s, we had uh, these booms that hung out past the ends, right? So now we have no overhang on the back here so the guys that own these machines already will probably notice you have to be careful you know backing up but on this one right it's all uh folded in compact so nothing hanging out behind you